I know you're sitting and thinking about applying to the colleges abroad and you're overwhelmed with a multitude of essays that you're supposed to write and you can't even think of on how do I even start on them or how do I even get cracking. So I'm here to tell you that how are you supposed to write those essays and what exactly are those essays about. Hi, I'm Raveena Pahuja and today we are going to talk about SOPs that is your statement of purpose and personal statement. There are two essays that appear more often than the others. One is the personal statement and the other is the statement of purpose. A personal statement is a story format of your past experiences, your volunteer experiences or any of your internships that helped you to evolve in a person that you are today and what made you to get to this point or this juncture that you're willing to apply to this particular university. Usually your personal statement is used by the admission office to determine that how fit are you for this uh, student council or the student committee at that university or college. Whereas the statement of purpose that is an SOP is the bridge between your past and future that you really want to build and why did you choose this one particular program at this university or the university that you're applying to. The statement of purpose is used by the admission council to determine that how perfect fit are you for the particular program that you're applying for. The personal statement is usually asked by the students who are applying for an undergraduate program and SOP is usually asked by the students or the people who are willing to apply for the postgraduates program. Your SOP for the postgraduate program can also be accompanied by the personal statement and of course your resume depending on what your university has asked for. Before uh, writing down your SOP, it would be worthwhile if you just sit with a piece of paper and note down all your credentials, all your uh, achievements, your internships, your awards on a piece of paper and later divide it into three parts. And these are three major parts that would decide that what goes in your SOP, what goes in your personal statement. Uh, the first is the resume. Your resume is usually a one page or that means you have to comprise all the information in just one page and the second is your all the story ideas or any storyline that would have to be kept for the personal statement and the third is the SOP all the important information that is also in your resume what motivated you to choose this one particular field and why this one university and how are you going to use this program or how is this program is going to help you achieve your uh, dream project your dream job anything that sort has to be uh, the part of your SOP that is your statement of purpose. So I hope uh, you already uh, you understood that what is a personal statement and what is the statement of purpose and in the next video I'll help you or I'll give you all the details on how to write your perfect SOP that is a statement of purpose and what all information are you supposed to write in it, what would be your language, what would be the uh, categories or the paragraphs that you're supposed to divide it in, what all information that goes in your SOP will be discussed in the next video. So I hope you really like this one and I'll leave the links down below for all the past uh, videos that we have made relating to you studying abroad made be IELTS or this one or any other SOP shots that would be linked down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!